There it is, branded as Amina. This deck works perfectly, and I think there's tons of synergy here. And of course, most importantly, now that we're not only fighting against Ash Blossom, we have Dominus Impulse, it's really important to have another Omni Negate before you activate Branded Fusion. And this is exactly what this deck does. I'm back, I've been sick for like a week, had regional preps and stuff, but we're finally back. This is gonna be the new video of a new series of videos. You're gonna see gameplay of this deck and you're gonna see a new Chimera as Amina deck that honestly has a pretty unbreakable end board. Let's dive in to this deck and what it tries to achieve, okay? This has the Branded Engine, but on top of it, it has the Azamina Engine. The Azamina Engine obviously gets you an Omni Negate before anything else, but also it provides you with more fusion monsters and also board breaking capabilities. And we're gonna see that in the deck. Besides that, some awesome new tech cards for this new format and summer experimentation. I've been testing out this deck a lot actually, and it's been doing really well for me. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more, much more content like this. Three Fallen Valbas, still very important. Three Alubur. This is what you wanna see alongside your Dia Bellstar and Sinful Spoils engine when you start. You wanna have a way to start off your branded combo, but also since the entire Azamina cards are one card combo Omni Negates, it's super important to have them as well. So we are maxing out on the starters. So we are playing two Cartesia and we're playing one Quem just because we're trying to keep it pretty consistent at 50 cards with not a lot of non-engine. So we need to be more consistent and we're not playing Puppet in this deck because there's really no need to play it. And you need the extra deck space for other things that are just better than Sanctifier in general. We're playing three of the Shrouded, still an amazing card, an upstart. Alongside your Wanted engine, which is also, also an upstart, basically. So you get to draw multiple cards here. And of course, setting up your graveyard with the Fallen Valbaz is always super important. I think I've been looking at whether this needs to be a three, and I think it currently still needs to be a three. Now, we have Kit, Mercurier, and Tragedy. Also cards that I've been considering to cut, but they're, they're good. So there's really no need to cut them. Kit is great. I think it could be cuttable in some instances, but the card I think is most importantly important in this deck, and this is why we cut the second Quam and the third Cartesia as a Stellar. I think a Stellar is really good, besides being a cool lore addition to the deck, I guess. The fact that you get extra spells to send, right? You have spells that you can send as cost, but you also have Sinful Spells Deception, which you can send with a Stellar to access your Cartesia and Quam engine, which is the most important thing about this deck. You need access to that engine, and that's why I felt this is important. Even in a 50 card build, I think this is still very valuable, and one of each bestial, pretty standard to be honest, and this is your branded engine. Now, we are playing 3D Abelstar or the Black Witch, and we are playing 3 Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. But thankfully for you, I decided and my testing showed that it is definitely fine and I'm only playing one Deception and one Halad as Amina. The reason why I'm playing one Deception, there's a very clear reason on why this was the decision and it's not a budget reason. It's because, first of all, I didn't want to go above 50, right? So you could play three Deception, three Wanted, three Bellstar, that all of them are Omni Negates. That's beautiful. But since you need to tribute a monster for Deception, you don't want to tribute engine monsters most of the time. You could switch it up if you want, right? Tribute a Serenity, tribute a Tragedy, then do something with a Graveyard, tribute an Albaz. That's possible for you, but you don't want to rely on opening only Deception and then having to tribute something like a Cartesia or Alubur, which are starters, right? So. This is the concession I've made to only playing one Deception, and that's the reason, because I want to tribute the Bell Star specifically. Now, basically, this engine gets you an Omni Negate, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, let's jump a little bit forward just to show you the Azamina cards. We're playing one Azamina Soul, and we're playing one Ilya Sylvia. This one is an Omni Negate, straight up tributed Omni Negate, 
In this one, once it's fusion summoned, you can target a card on the field and send it to the graveyard. It's also 2700 attack, which is big. There's two reasons why this is in the deck. One, you can summon it the same way you do Ilya. It's a level six. It's an incredible card. And two, and this is one of the board breakers that we play. This card requires one illusion and one fiend, which is coincidentally the end board of the Snake Eyes deck. They end on this, which is an illusion, and the uh, either like a Promethean Princess, which is a fiend, but also Desiree, which is a fiend. You super poly both of them together, summon this, and then send another card that you control. You get rid of three cards with one super polymerization. So this is the payoff for this engine. And obviously, since this is an Omni Negate, you get to negate Ash Blossom, but we'll get to that later. Now, for the engine, one branded fusion. Fortunately, it's still at one. Do you think it's, it's gonna come back? Three opening and then three deployment. So important to get to the Cartesia. One lost, one red, one high spirits. I always like to just play one. It opens up so many lines. Also, if you play Mulcharmies, this one can send the Fualis because it's a winged beast and you have Rindbrum in the deck. So it is a searcher. One gold sark, one foolish just because we need that added consistency because I want to see the branded engine as well. And then one call by the grave. For the non-engine, we're playing three Super Bali. This is your main board breaker. But since people are just playing a ton of hand traps, we are playing three triple tactics talent. Now the Super Bali is for what I showed with the Azamina, but also against things like Ubel, Drago Stepelia is gonna be live a lot of the time, and also other cards that you're gonna see in the extra deck. And then three thrust, I've been looking into this, whether this is still how we wanna play the deck, and I think it's still definitely viable, and then one dupe and one retribution. This is the main deck, 50 cards, and then there's a few convoluted, uh, <laughs> convoluted cards in the extra deck here. So we are playing the Azamina Soul and Ilya Sylvia. These cards are so broken. You're gonna see in the gameplay videos that I made that this guy is insane. Like turn three, if you survive, you get to reset the Azamina cards, you get to reset this, and then you break your opponent's board on the crackback with this. So, so good. And this card is a beast too, 2700 attack. Uh, and then two Albion and two Mirror Jade. These are the standards. Now, playing one Lube, one Titanic Lad, one Rindbrum, which is just such a good card, helps you play around Shifter, so you need to play this card. And then one Grand Gineal, because we're not playing Puppet, I did not feel the need or the urge to even play two, just because it's a different kind of build. And Despian Proskinion, which is the counterpart. We're not playing Quertus, and we're playing Proskinion. You're also gonna see that in the gameplay because you can steal your opponent's Sylvia from the graveyard and activate it as an Omni Negate, right? So as you're cracking a board, you can get an extra, extra deck monster from your opponent to either protect your combos, steal a little knight, steal a Desiree, stuff like that, right? Um, one Stabelia, one Furious, and then one Chaos Star Source Dragon. Now, this card is pretty good, right? This card says that it requires one light or dark dragon monster plus a dragon. So you can make this in a bunch of different ways and it basically pops too, right? If this card is fusion summon, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of light or darks and dark monsters used as this card's material and destroy them. So if you make this with two lights or darks, target two and pop. And then finally, we're playing one guardian chimera. Lots of removal is the name of the game. You could cut the Chimera to play Albalenidus. You could cut like either one of these if you don't like them. This is like a lot of destruction and you need to be playing cards like the um, Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Very good against Shifter. You probably have to play this card so you can decide how you want to break this down. And that's gonna be it for Branded as Amina. This is just the basis. This is just the deck profile, but Later this week, I'm gonna be going over some gameplay clips to show you how this deck actually works. This is gonna be the Rage of the Abyss guide to Branded Asmina, basically the new Branded Academy video. And it's super awesome. I mean, I love, this deck plays so, so fun. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Hopefully you can test it out too. And of course, don't forget to leave your comments down below and make sure to add your suggestions on how 
you're playing branded this format. We're back, we're fully back. It's been a, a little bit of a two week break ish, um, but we're back full force. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.